for our detachment resources. Not a whole lot has changed there. Uh, it's still a vacancy in the inspector role and the staff sergeant role. Uh, the inspector role has been posted uh, on the job board, and I believe the staff sergeant role or job will be posted very soon. And we're still down uh, seven, six costumes, seven costumes. And our municipal employee uh, clerical staff is still short four. Our calls for service uh, from this point last year is down. Uh, we are currently at uh, uh, 5,441 calls for service. When at this time last year we were at uh, 5,936. Our theft uh, files, there's been an increase of 18% there. Uh, mischief, there's been a decrease of 29%. Break and enter, an increase of 24 Assaults, aggravated assaults, assault with weapons, there's been a decrease there of 2.6%. Sexual assault, there's been a slight increase of 2.8%. Drug possession and drug trafficking, there's an increase of 47 0.8%. Now that also contributes to some uh, proactive work that we've done. Uh, impaired driving, there's been a decrease here. Motor vehicle, motor vehicle collisions, there's been a decrease. Our uh, public disorder calls for service, there's been a, a slight increase there, uh, about 12%. Mental Health Act has been uh, shown a decrease. And our total amount of prisoners have uh, increased slightly uh, from this time last year. reports for uh, prisoners lodged uh, it's it's fairly much on par from uh, from last year for for varying people from varying outside communities other than Thompson as well. So we've created two offender management files in the month of April where we did uh, 12 curfew checks on offender man offenders uh, this month uh, high risk Offender uh, warrants executed was one, and then a couple of search warrants here. Uh, one drug search warrant where we found a large amount of uh, Canadian currency, drug paraphernalia, a ballistic vest, a helmet, a uh, pellet gun, and some other uh, weapon seized. Uh, we had a firearms investigation, uh, which resulted in a high risk offender being remanded into custody and charges laid in relation to firearms and escaped lawful custody. Uh, we had a drug uh, traffic stop where uh, cocaine and uh, some cocaine currency was also seized. We went to Artie Parker for uh, a situation where a student was selling some, uh, some cannabis. They followed up on that. They attended uh, Wapanock School for some, again, kids uh, being misbehaving there. And they followed up with uh, teachers and principal. And they also presented uh, some impaired driving uh, presentation here to Artie Parker with the, uh, the simulation uh, intoxicated goggles. Going off fairly well. It means we have, we've had lost calls for service in general. Uh, from this time. Uh, there could be uh, a number of variables there. If we have a de de decrease in calls for service overall, that means that theoretically the public needs less police service, but it just depends on what we have for severity of calls as well. So just the slight difference there, I don't think that there's much of a, a big difference for, for us to judge like where we're at. If it's better or worse. The, the, the weather usually contributes here for the former weather. There's definitely more calls for service in the policing realm, but uh, usually when it's colder, there's less calls for service in, in, in my experience.